for the recruiter. If the recruiter wants to make a difference and have an impact and they don't, without having to do some big broad policy change, um, how can they help people with disabilities have a better experience in the hiring process um, at, at their level while you know leaders are getting their head around it? What can the person who's interacting with talent all the time, what can they do? Yeah, I, I mean, there are actually a lot of things that the individual recruiter can do to help um, bring people into the pipeline, to help them have a better experience. Um, and the first one is, I would say, if you're a recruiter that works directly with community-based organizations um, like disabled veterans groups, war wounded warriors groups, um, a, a Goodwill or an Easter Seals, one is to kind of understand what kind of talent is in, are, are in those funnels, right? Um, you may not get all of your accountants from Wounded Warriors and Goodwill, but you might get one accountant from there. And so as you're thinking about how to grow the, the pool itself, um, spreading out how you're, you're advertising, how you're doing your outreach is, is a first critical piece, right? If we don't know about the job, we can't apply to the job. Uh, and, and the second thing that's really important about those community-based partners for all of us to understand is that they're, they're social workers by nature, right? They're thinking, how do I get Julie a job? Not how do I change the world you know, for people with disabilities? They're focused on changing Julie's life. And they don't have the business savvy or the business experience that we have is as in, in private corporations or, or non-governmental, non-profit organizations. Um, and so there is an element of upfront commitment on education uh, with those community-based organizations to get the best talent back out. And that's really helping them to understand, right? What are the, what are the functions of the job? Having them even you know, come in and demonstrate how a job is done, um, Providing that transparency is really important. Providing good feedback when a candidate isn't a good fit, it will help them get better. And they do. That's what they want to do. That's their passion in life. And the other thing, then obviously we kind of come full circle with for recruiters in, in terms of process, is you can help those organizations also understand what applying is like. Right. So when I sit down with community based organizations at Disability Solutions, we have about 7000 contacts in the disability and veterans communities that we work with to help source talent out of. And they don't have any education or experience on um, assessments on, you know, interview limits, what really basic quals mean, and they end up pushing people out of contention um inadvertently so the more that you guys can open up um and educate community-based organizations about your process the better people will do and the more qualified talent you'll get out on the other side and then when we think about interviewing right i mean i guess if we get to like if a recruiter is in person which isn't really happening right now or over the phone um in person, there are things that you can do to help set sort of a universal, um, universally accessible um, interview space. And it it is actually very small things that you can do that will help most people with disabilities. Um, one of mine, for example, is not having my back to a door, um, not being in a windowless room, uh, those are really hard for me. You're not going to get the best out of me if that's the situation. Um, so if you think about the space, it's open, but still surrounded, right? Um, windows are good and helpful. And then close to an entryway, if you are walking a facility and you're thinking about, if I was rolling through here, could I roll all the way to the interview room? If I had a mobility impairment, could I, how long is that walk? Um, and so if you can have interviews that are 
closer to an entrance. That's always great and helpful. Um, and, and the other thing is, is that people do kind of going back to that, that best practice, people learn in different ways. And so people may want to do a, a tour of the facility and see people in action, and that will help them to better ingest and then be able to talk about how they can do that job or how they've been able to do that job. Um, yeah, no, I think we're demonstrating. Well, I think I think what you're sharing is, is pretty, uh, pretty amazing.